guys, happy new year. It is the first week in January and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to share my tips on being more organized in 2016. So I'm a really organized particular person anyway. So a lot of these things I find really easy, but I know that lots of people don't find being a tidy, organized person the easiest thing to do. So these are my top five tips on getting your life in order for 2016. So tip number one is to declutter. Now there's no point trying to be organized if your room or your house is full of clutter and rubbish and things that you don't need. Now I'm really ruthless when I do this and I go through each room with three boxes. So I have a box for things that I want to throw away, a box of things that I want to give to a charity shop and then a box of things I want to keep but haven't quite got a place yet. By going through each room that way you kind of sort through things a lot easier but you do have to be a little bit ruthless. If you haven't used something in a year or six months and you're not going to use it in the next six months then just get rid of it. It's just taking up valuable space that you probably don't have anyway. So tip number two is adopt a 10 minute cleaning routine every day. So make the bed, put the dishes away from the night before, put a load of washing on, anything that needs to be done like that, but keep it to 10 minutes. You don't want it taken up long periods of your day. It is amazing what you can do in 10 minutes as well and it sets you up for the rest of your day if you do it early on. So tip number three is having one in, one out system. Now this can be pretty tough when you first start, but you do see the benefits really, really quickly. If you've been out shopping or you've got your presents or anything like that, go through your wardrobe, go through your makeup, go through your shoes and throw something out for every new item you're bringing in. That way you're not filling your closet full of loads and loads of clutter, you're not keeping pairs of shoes that you're never gonna wear again and you're not keeping old makeup that really you're never gonna use again either. That way you keep everything you've got neat, tidy and consolidated to things that you're actually going to use. Tip number four is write lists. Now I write a list every Sunday evening, it takes a couple of minutes and I just set out the week ahead that's coming up. That way I know all the things that I need to be doing, I can prioritise things better and I can be a lot more productive throughout the week because I know exactly what I need to be achieving. Now you can start with doing one list on a Sunday and then build up and do a list each day that's slightly more detailed. It's a great way to plan your days and it's a great way to make sure everything that you're doing and need to be doing is getting done. Tip number five, one of the most important tips is start to have a routine. Now the first basic thing in a routine is make sure you're getting up at the same time each day and going to bed at the same time each evening. Now getting up each day at the same time should be really, really simple and it also helps your body realise what's going to happen, it knows what time you're getting up each day and it makes getting up and being more productive faster a lot easier. And the same with going to bed at night, try and stay around the same time so your body knows what to expect and it's easier to fall asleep. Really basic point of a routine. Next, build on that routine by doing the same things each week. So do your shopping each week on the same day so it's easier for you to write your shopping list. You can do your meal plans. Also do things like your cleaning on the same day each day so you know when it needs to be done. You can get it out of the way faster and then you can also get a routine with how you clean your house. So simple routines to put in place make your life so much easier. Along with your lists and not having a cluttered house, it's a great place to start with being more organised. So they are my top five tips for being more organised. I hope they've helped you a little bit. They are not by any means groundbreaking tips. They're things that everybody knows, but sometimes watching a video or thinking about things through can give you that little push to be more organised. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you all again soon.